Hello, Josh here from Absolute. Today's IT environments are brimming with complexity. Let's see what we can do about it. Today, IT complexity is just part of the game. This tangled web has turned endpoint resilience into a riddle. But how did that happen? No more than 10 years ago, securing devices was straightforward. There were fewer agents, all sharing a device home without too much drama. Those days are long gone. Now, device resilience requires 12 times the effort. Why? Because every control, app, and agent depends on hardware and software resources. They are in zero-sum competition. Some feast, while others starve. And this agent friction leads to some startling results. At any given time, 28% of antivirus and malware agents fail. 42% of encryption agents go to an early grave. And in an era where patching is already a struggle, one in five patching agents breaks every month. Oh, and when patching agents like Tanium, SCCM, Airwatch, Avanti do fail, they are repeat offenders with more than five failures every month. The maniacal pursuit to stuff endpoints with controls, apps, and agents creates new breeds of risk. Spending more on security tools does not make us safer. It increases exposure. So IT complexity expands the attack surface. Risks are hidden. And the garrisons meant to keep us safe are tumbling into one another and shattering at every moment. Unless persisted, apps and agents die with failures as predictable as a clock. Risk is not a bug. It is a feature of IT complexity. So to be resilient, we must first admit much of the trouble is self-inflicted. Endpoints have become a knife fight in a phone booth filled with agents duking it out for survival. When they collide, the friction causes failure. So we must regenerate them and bring them back to life. And this is persistence. So when it comes time to demonstrate, prove, and validate our security posture, we can be audit ready and we can close the complexity gap with ceaseless visibility and control. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with others. Oh, and drop your comments below to keep the conversation going. I'll see you next time.